We got a 2015 C63 507 and a 2018 C63 S. Let's compare the two. Hey guys, Namo here at Toronto Auto Brokers. Today we're gonna compare the two C63s. We wanna show you guys the differences. So we're gonna start with the C63 first. We're gonna show you guys the front end of the 15 C63. First of all, you can see that the grill is a little bit different in comparison to the 18. It has these hood scoops here. These are actually functional. When the, heat, when the engine overheats, these will actually help the heat escape from the top of the motor. The front grill is, is a lot different from the newer generation it's got this nice strip that goes along it as for the newer ones they just kind of strip down like this way it also still has the parking sensors in the front which is pretty neat for the older generation so i'm going to just show you guys the side of the car which is really nice it has this nice fitment from the back wheels to the front wheels it also has these big brakes which really help the car slow down when you really need it it's got this nice 6.3 liter amg badge I'll talk about that a little later as we go through the video. If you come closer on over this way, you're gonna see it's got the nice chrome with the chrome on the handles as well, but it keeps it nice with the black tone on this mirror covers. It just sits nice. And also you have this nice 507 edition strip that comes down here. You only see this on the 507 editions. So here we have the C63 rear end of it. It's got this beautiful spoiler in the, tr in the back and it has this nice, diffuser and these quad exhausts. One really cool feature about this car is the size of the trunk. You'd think for a coupe it'd have a smaller trunk, but it's pretty large. Look inside, see the size of it. All right, so now I'm gonna show you guys my favorite part, the most important part about a Mercedes. Come, let's look inside. So as you can see, the interior has this beautiful suede in the middle, Alcantara with the leather on, on the sides of it. It also has carbon fiber with the 507 edition badge sitting right here. It's got this beautiful Alcantara steering wheel, which is just lovely to hold. It's also got a nice roof, black roof. Unfortunately, it's not suede, but it'll do. It also has a massive, massive sunroof, which I'll show you right here. It spreads from, from the front all the way to the back of the car. Now I'm 5'10", so you can see how I sit in this car. It's a really nice fit. It's got a beautiful cluster. It also has, it's a little bit outdated, but it still has a nice display, a little bit small, but it'll do. All right, so this shift knob is really gorgeous. It actually has the AMG original logo on it. If you could actually see right here, it's really something special to see. Um, one thing I really like to show you guys is the size of the car. So like I said before, I'm 5'10". I'm sitting perfectly comfortable here. Let's show you the back how I would fit if somebody was 5'10 and somebody was 5'10 behind them. Here you just have a little flip out just to let it go out. It'll automatically move on its own, making it easy to get in and out of the car, no problem. Then you just gotta pull it back and I still fit very well. My head is a little bit hitting the roof, but my legs are fine. I also have back here, I can show you guys it still has cup holders for if you have anybody sitting in the back. It also has a 12 volt if somebody in the back wants to charge anything. Now I'm gonna show you guys the 18C63S. The grill on this is very nice. It has a nice matte black finish on it. It also has the front camera, which is really nice. It's a nice feature. The one thing that I like about this grill in comparison to that grill, it's a lot larger. Also a, lot, a little bit longer. It also, if you look at the badge on the top, which is cool, is they actually black made the Mercedes black on the top in comparison to that one where it was all just chrome. It's a nice little feature. It really contrasts as well with the white color of the car. This is a nice new updated version in comparison to the older C63. It's a lot more high tech. Let me show you guys more of the side of the car. It's got these beautiful rims. You can't see the bolts in comparison to the old ones. It's a really nice feature. Uh, it still has the big AMG brakes. As you transition further back, you can see they took away the AMG C63 logo and they put a V8 bi-turbo. The engine has gone a little smaller, but it still produces a lot of power. Come further back, you can see that it has a nice chrome 
with a nice little satin finish on the top here. And it still has the black roof. It's a nice color contrast. It still has a nice black trim over here too. So even though this is a newer generation than that one, you can see some similarities. Some of the, the fact that they still left the badge on the side, though it says different things, but it's still on the side. Another thing is they kept the nice black mirrors and the silver trim in comparison to that one, still similar. So let's, check, let's go to the trunk here. I wanna show you guys the back end of it. The tail lights have really changed on this rear end. They've really extended the tail lights in comparison to the old ones. The trunk space in comparison to the, the older ones is a lot smaller. Even though this one's a convertible, it's still a lot smaller than what it should be in comparison to that one. It still has the dual exhaust pipes. This one says AMG on it. It has a nice black finish as compared to that one, it was a chromey finish. So let's see inside the trunk here. As you can see, not too much space, but realistically, if you're trying to buy a convertible, you're not really too worried about the trunk space, let's be honest. Not too much depth, but if you were to remove the convertible top part, you would have a little bit more space, but still a lot smaller than that older generation. Now, I'm gonna show you guys my favorite part again, the interior. All right, so look at these beautiful bucket seats. It has this nice, gorgeous red interior in the middle with the black trim again. Heated neck warmers for the convertible when you're driving in those cold nights. You still want the top down. You still warm up your neck, which is really nice. It's got this gorgeous carbon fiber center console. You can really see how much they've updated from the older generations to the newer generations. Nice bigger screen, nicer display. The steering wheel. This steering wheel is my favorite. It's got, it still has the Alcantara on the sides. It's got the nice carbon fiber, but just everything, the way it holds in your hand is beautiful. One beautiful feature about this car in comparison to the older ones, you change the sport to comfy, comfort from here as opposed to this one now is on the steering wheel. You could also adjust the sound of the exhaust from the steering wheel as well. So I wanna show you guys the door a little bit. Over here you have actually the heating and cooling control. It's got heated and cooled seats, which is really nice for the summer and winter. And also one major thing, a lot of people like music. It's got the Burmeister sound system, which just sounds so crisp. Now let me show you guys the back. Again, it's got the automatic seats that move for you. You don't have to push it and pull it. It's a little bit harder to get into in comparison to the older generation. The roof is a little bit lower. My head is touching a little bit more than the older generation. Let's see what it looks like when I push the seat back. So yeah, definitely a lot tighter than the older one. My knees are hitting the back seat, but realistically, like I said before, if you're driving this kind of car, you're most likely not driving it as an everyday kind of car. It's more of a summer ride, fun ride kind of car. The fact that they still have the cup holders is really nice. And it's got the dual speakers in the back as well to really emphasize that sound system for you guys. What's under this hood? Let me tell you, it's a four liter V8 bi-turbo in comparison to the 15, which had a V8 6.3 liter naturally aspirated motor. Whoever's buying this car, is most likely thinking about a little bit of the fuel consumption, but still wants to have that fun with it. As for somebody that's buying that C63, the 15, is all about fun. That one is a lot more fun than this, but this will save you a little bit of gas. Okay, so I really wanna show you guys one thing that's very unique about these cars is the sound. Let's go to the back and really hear why this and that are different. So let's hear the 2018 C63S. Listen to that rumble. Now let's hear the 2015 C63. Woo! Now that's a car. 2018 C63 has a 4.0 liter twin turbo V8 producing 503 horsepower and 516 pound feet of torque. It does zero to 60 in 3.9 seconds with a top speed of 180 miles per hour. It also has a seven speed dual clutch transmission. As comparison to the 2015 C63, it's a 6.2 liter V8, 500 horsepower, 451 pound-feet of torque, seven-speed automatic transmission, doing zero to 60 in 4.3 seconds with a top speed of 174 miles an hour. These are the beautiful cars. If you guys wanna check them out, come check them out at torontoautobrokers.com. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe.